Yeah, you're gonna have to get up high because I can't do that. Well, I can't be up on that ladder for that long. I'm up on a ladder and I hate heights. Now we gotta go two feet higher. What? No, I'm done. I don't go higher than this. Two person job. It's okay. I hate it. There's Richie. Morning. Rich and I are getting started on some foam. The rebar guys will be coming Monday and they're gonna finish the rebar on the back of the walls and then they'll help us with the foam. But Rich and I wanna to try to get done as much as we can. Our goal right now is to redo this entryway to make it so that it'll look good. We know we're gonna to have to do mud work, but we wanna to try to minimize the mud work as much as possible. So that's where we're gonna focus our energy today. We're taking off everything that needs to be fixed, whether it's all the way off, halfway off, whatever it takes to fix it. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna to have to get up high because I but, can't do that. Yeah, this one is definitely coming all the way off. I hope we could use this somewhere. We will. We had a pretty long piece of foam that was narrow. I could squish it right into that curve and then you could draw your line. Okay, that should be better. Let's see. Yeah, I'll follow this line. Got it. Through? I don't think it makes it through. Yeah, but you should be able to just uh, grab your knife and snap it. It's or not even cutting the other one. How do you snap that one? You're going to have to cut them one at a time. Crap. Kind of sucks, Rich. Yeah, it's tedious work. There's no question about it. It's like everything else. So we're going to figure out a better way of doing things as we go. Jiggery. Well. It's better. It's better. It's a line. It's a line. What's been broken? This ain't the first time I'll be drinking. How's that? Better? That's a good line. Who would have thought we'd be using this tool for that? No, I know, right? I wore a mask. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a great little tool. Ouch. So the foam is a real challenge we're learning. We're trying to make a better edge. And we realize that we have to run the flat ones long and do the curves right to it. And it definitely is not easy, but in the long run, I think it'll make our life a lot easier. got to push you gotta get higher on the ladder and push from the top down and stand by it should work oh well, I can't be up on that ladder for that long I get dizzy stand by oh I'm standing by yeah put a lath in there twist it down tight honey I'm trying I'm up on a ladder and I hate heights I need you to just be patient with me please All right. I'm way outside my comfort zone you can do it. I'm trying. Lift that mother. Lift it off. Hard. There it is. That's nice. 
Good. Now we gotta go two feet higher. What? <laughs> what? No, I'm done. I don't go higher than this. Two person job. We need to get this whole shape right. So we need to do the inside of the dome first, cut it to the right length using a, a like a, a, a little jig template something and then put the foam on the inside straight past it so again more to figure out uh stand by i'm still working on this tape it's a little super sticky and i want it straight this tape is amazing you're gonna have to definitely get some of this tape if you do this kind of work if you build one of these houses That'll be perfect. We can't really put a spacer there because I want that to be all cement and hopefully the weight of the concrete will push down on that. But yeah, the seams are the trick, especially where the arch comes together here. We tried packing tape and duct tape. The rebar guys gave us this and this is, seems to be the key. It sticks to wet or dry, whatever. It's the only thing that's working. There you go. You're safe. Okay. Thank you. I got it. This was a bad way to pass it to me, actually, but... Uh, you got it. I hate you right now. Hang on, I'll come up, I'll help you. No! It's hooked on the rebar behind your head. What is happening? <laughs> You're good. It's too long, Lizzie. You'll be fine. Okay. Kathy outside her comfort zone. Sometimes we gotta do these things, Kathy. I'm doing it, let's just do it fast. You'll get used to it in a minute. No, thank you. Nope. Hurry up. All right, so I have a knife, a pencil, tape, wire, with the wire. I need some wire. Gotta breathe, Kathy. Sweetheart, I get dizzy. I can't open my eyes. Just breathe. Just hurry up, please. Come up. There. How far? Right there. I did it. I did it, honey. <laughs> you made it. There was no problem. <laughs> Okay. That was really hard for me, honey. That took a lot out of me. That, that, was, that was very challenging and scary. On a scale of one to 10, 10 being frozen, petrified, unable to move. Eight. 
<laughs> That's good enough. It's the tape. Okay from in there? Yeah. Using a lot of red tape. That stuff is great. It goes up there. And we were putting it in and it broke. So we'll see if the tape will hold it. Well, there you have it. We worked all day. We took a break for lunch. We're not quite done, but it started raining. It's going on eight o'clock at night. We're completely exhausted, but I think we have a better line for the concrete. A couple of spots aren't perfect. We still have to put some more lath on. And on the outside, we definitely need to tape some seams. And this is only a first layer. We have to put a second layer on. But we got it done, for the most part. I faced some of my fears today. It wasn't my favorite thing to do. And I hope I don't really have to do that much ever again. But I guess I know I can now. And that's it. The entryway is definitely probably the hardest part to get foam on because it's such a tight curve that the pieces would break. So we did the best we could slowly and that's why it took all day. It was a real pain in the patootie. The next place we're gonna tackle is this seam all the way up there. That's our next goal for the foam. The rain is over and all the little F's come out. There's one, two, three, four, And I know I saw more somewhere. Five. They're so cute. Six. Seven. 